Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today I thought I'd show you my x Knight 4-inch once again. The x Knight is a Bind and Fly drone by Beta FPV, and I showed it once before on my channel, but now you can see I switched out the FPV system. I lifted up the canopy so I could put a Cadex Vista in here. So this is now using the DJI Digital HD system in a 4-inch drone, and it's still less than 250 grams with these 850 million power 4S batteries that I've been flying it with, so that's pretty cool. Now, compared to the analog camera I had in here before, the Vista definitely adds quite a bit of weight, but the power to weight ratio on this drone was so high to begin with that it still flies really well, and I've been having quite a bit of fun with it. So today, I thought I'd show some new flight footage, and if you stick around after that, I'll tell you a little bit more about this build and what I had to do to get it working the way that it is. So this flight was pretty casual because I was just out relaxing and enjoying the evening. Uh, there was a beautiful sunset, but there was also a big storm system moving in, so you can actually see lightning in the distance a few times. Uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, and because of the storm system, there was also quite a bit of wind, so keep that in mind. This flight was 4 minutes and 25 seconds long, which is pretty typical, but I'm going to cut it down just to save some time. Cruising around like this in HD is super fun, and I wasn't really pushing it that hard either. Uh, I'd say I was at less than 60% throttle most of the time, uh, and a few times I opened up the throttle, but only for brief periods, because if I stay on full throttle, then I get a lot of voltage sag warnings. So here's the drone again. Mine is coming in at 147.5 grams. And with the 850 million power 4S Tattoo R-Line battery, it's right about 247.5. This is the regular canopy that comes on the x Knight. It's also the same canopy as the Beta 95X, which does come with this Cadex Vista. I had to do the same thing that they did, which is to screw it in through the vents instead of the hole, because it's not really designed for this camera, but it does work. The only real downside is it's hard to adjust the up tilt on the camera. Another difficulty with this canopy is that it's designed for the antenna to come straight out the back. And the problem with that is the weakest direction on the antenna, the null zone, is directly along the axis. And when you have that coming out the back, it means that the weakest signal is directly behind and directly in front. And what I found is when I would fly towards myself and the camera would actually block the antenna, and then I was also looking right into the null zone of the antenna, my video would get really bad anytime I would fly towards myself. So you can see already what I did. I kind of cranked it up and I added these little zip ties just to make sure it couldn't fall down into the props. And anchoring it up like this means that when I'm flying, it's actually above the level of the canopy and it's a better orientation and that definitely improved my video. 
And finally, every single time I release a video, somebody asks me for the tune, so I'm going to put that down in the video description as well. It's nothing fancy, but I am trying out Betaflight 4.2 Release Candidate 1, so if you want to try a Release Candidate, you can try that out as well. Uh, so far, it's working really well. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, as always, I'll leave links to these parts and some related videos down in the video description below. Uh, stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time.